Alright, it's Monday, December 28th, I believe, 2019, 4.30 in the afternoon, and we are at November 139er Quebec, aka the Red Baron. So, <clears throat> since the last recording of the engine, I have gone through a lot studying, reading, learning, service bulletins, service manuals, uh, parts manuals, old parts manuals, new parts manuals, uh, PMA, TSO, factory authorized, mill spec, AN, NAS, fittings, and nomenclatures, propeller overhauls, fuel injection systems, mechanical fuel pumps, Everything I have studied you know, motor it, big things motor mounts the the, the rubber disc is thirteen hundred dollars I'm gonna shell out just in motor mounts now what we are so the we saw a video earlier today of me opening the box of the Y pipe that goes back here and that goes into these tubes to the intake runners and then the mount the where the fuel lines all connect to they run up here. One of them, this main one right here. So that's the fuel return. And then we have fuel supply and it's disconnected. So what we're gonna do today is get this thing overhauled. I wasn't gonna worry about it. The engine's run, running fine. You know, I no, no issues. But this is the original manifold block, I believe. It's got black washers, and it's oh yeah, no, and that rubber is brittle. You know, so the diaphragm and all that stuff is. So I guess this is actually a critical piece that has some parts going on inside that require replacement, aka overhaul. So when you go, when this thing goes for an overhaul. There's mandatory part replacement here, and this is about $550. That's the quote I got. So I imagine it could probably go more. So at a minimum, I'm, at a minimum, I'm going to pay $550 to have this thing taken apart and looked at and put back together with the right pieces and parts. Again, it's the right thing to do. And this has been on there since 1982. To the best I can tell, I don't see anything in the log books about this being done. Uh, mags I've seen mags are still good to go um, but I am looking at buying new uh, magneto wiring harnesses here for the spark plugs and P leads and all that good stuff but um, yeah so right now we're gonna work on is removing this block manifold and I just wanted to get a, a video of it connected and what's connected so we can come back and look at it again. And it's got a writing. Oh, I can take pictures too, can't I? So. Oh, I don't know if I'm taking pictures or. A little white button up on the screen here says I can take pictures, but I'm. All right, so here is. One mag. And then here's the block. You know, it looks pretty simple. Like, I, you know, I could take this apart and clean everything and put it. But no, that's not my job. My job is to remove that and have it repaired and pay the money. <laughs> and shut up and put it back on. Found, found a new one for hundred and hundred dollars but I could have this one removed and then glass beat it and then have it anodized okay. these are the good exhaust I'll take that off 
good exhaust clamps. Or got exhaust gaskets. See, I'm learning all this. There, there's other types of gaskets you can use. They're not near as good as, as that one. Supposedly those are reusable. Now the other thing is I'm gonna have to remove this cylinder head, right? This one and the far corner, those two are minimum, at a minimum are coming off. And I am getting all new nuts. I think I'll leave the through bolts. Do bolts look okay? I'm just gonna replace the nuts and washers. Reuse, reuse everything else. And I'm not going to use the 12 pointed ones because I found the ones that are, I don't know if these, so there's two different types of six pointed nuts. And um, the one I found is the, the better one. So it's just as good as the 12 point. The 12 point just, I think it's the wrenches are all 12 point wrenches. So why not make it 12 point nut, right? So, but it's double the price for the parts. So these parts will be the same and I can put a wrench on there and torque it to the same spec and get the, the torque spec. And that nut, those nuts will be just fine. I'll, but I'll be using new ones, new nuts and washers. I'll be basically replacing the ones that are on here with the better grade nuts and washer, but not the best. You, there's a one that they supersede out it says to replace when you do an overhaul when this goes for an overhaul then they, these things have to be replaced with the with the 12 point 12 point nuts so for now i'm just finding good ones brand new ones on a good deal that are the the next older style that are still current uh because some manuals still call for those nuts. You, and those are the nuts you have to use. So I'm going to be using the original, not the original, the, the next upgraded nuts. So these are older. There's another higher grade, better nut, the six point. And then they, again, later changed it to a 12 point nut. But we're going to be just fine. And uh, I'll be able to get in here and look inside the engine. And look at the counterweights and see if the because of the vibration that this thing so i want to get in here and check the material condition inside the case and we'll, we'll pull a cylinder two cylinders we'll be able to look at the camshaft the lifters we'll get a really good eye uh, visual inspection and that's where we have the cameras that's where the cameras will come in we'll be able to really take a look all right so Got the shop set up, and we're going to now remove that top intake, seal everything up, and get that sent out to the rebuild shop. And that is it for now. Ciao.